Okay, so let's talk about the vaccine. Some of the people who may be hesitating on getting the COVID vaccine include some people who are hoping to get pregnant. Some women and men are worried that it could affect their fertility, including Ashley Patton of San Diego, who I interviewed. I also spoke to an expert to help find out if there's any reason for concern. Ashley Patton is one of many people not in a hurry to get the COVID vaccine. She says she's put her body through enough and isn't quite ready for yet another medical intervention. If anyone's been through fertility treatments, they know there's a lot of intervention involved. It's been about five years of us trying um, to start a family and with obviously no success. Um, so we did reach out to uh, the fertility group um, to start that journey. We've had five IUIs um, at this point and we're in our second uh, round of IVF currently. Um, so it's been an emotional and expensive <laughs> process. And also confusing. They don't know why they've had such a struggle to have a baby. Every test that you know I've done and that my husband has done have come back normal, um, you know, with no obvious red flags. So, you know, that's hard. You know, you don't know what you're up against and what you're battling. You're just, you know, trying to start a family. Ashley and her husband have been relying on doctors at the Fertility Specialist Medical Group through the intro uterine insemination and in vitro fertilization. Her doctors have suggested she get the COVID vaccine, but here's her take. We've been doing this for so long and they've got, you know, all of my lab work. Everything has been monitored so closely and has stayed consistent. So introducing something new to it right before we reach, hopefully the end, it just seems, it scares me. We spoke to one of her doctors, Dr. Wendy Shelley. She's a reproductive endocrinologist trained in infertility. Anybody that is um, trying to conceive, um, again, falls into that category of individuals that should be vaccinated um, if at all possible. But Dr. Shelley also recognizes how sensitive and personal this is, and she points out misinformation does not help. This is an incredibly emotional journey, um, and when you have been waiting a long time and working hard and gone through testing and what have you, you know, it's very really difficult to, to consider something that, again, you're hearing rumors could affect your, your opportunities. So we asked her directly, does the vaccine affect fertility? And she says based on data and research, no. It is the, you know, a very safe thing to do and certainly a recommendation. The majority of my patients have been vaccinated. Most of them have been vaccinated prior to, to, to getting pregnant. What Dr. Shelley does say might happen is if you get flu-like symptoms from the vaccine, then your sperm count or a female's menstrual cycle could be impacted momentarily just as it might when you get a fever or are highly stressed. But she doesn't believe that's enough to ruin your chances of getting pregnant. COVID-19, though, Dr. Shelley points out, could hurt fertility much more by leading to more extreme symptoms. So Ashley says she'll keep staying away from high-risk scenarios. Just really taking care of myself, uh, making sure that I'm healthy. I work from home. The mask mandate has been lifted. Um, you know, I will still wear a mask. She's avoided crowded places and is only hanging out with her small group of vaccinated friends, hoping this second and final round of IVF goes smoothly and successfully. I trust the doctors, I really do, and I know they've been working with me and trying to get me pregnant for a long time. So I, you know, I know that they have my best interest, you know, in mind, but yeah, I just am going to keep doing what I feel comfortable with. She does say eventually she plans to be vaccinated because she misses seeing her relatives, especially her elderly ones, and she hopes to do that soon with a child who they plan to shower with love. We hope Aww. she gets some good news here yes. soon. Yeah, they some look uh, like some baby gonna, news. Yeah, they're going to be great parents. But Netta, look, you know, this is a personal decision. She's right. been going through so much. So I, I, I see why she doesn't want to get it. Yeah. I mean, she's been monitored so closely mm -hmm. with all of her hormone levels. Mm -hmm. And every, is, I mean, she's gone through this for over five years. And this is their final attempt. And I talked to her a few days ago. She just went through that second final round yeah. of IVF. So, you know, hopefully we'll talk to her in a few months from now with a cute baby yes. bump. Yes. And yeah, we're, <laughs> we have, we're, we're hoping for the best for you, Ashley, and your husband. I mean, they're such sweet people. So, yeah, yeah definitely. Thanks, thanks and I'm glad she this shared the story. I'm yeah. glad she opened up yeah. about it. She did say, you know, it's something a lot of people don't talk about. So uh, she really wanted to make women know it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a concern. Like mm -hmm. a lot of women are talking about this. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, discussion to have with your doctor but also a very personal mm -hmm. decision for Absolutely. sure.